Appalachian Wireless has a plan to make your life simpler. It's called Forward Pay. No contract, no credit check, no problem. Plans start at $19.99 a month and include unlimited talk and text or ticket to the max with unlimited data plus for only $89.99, which has 50 gig of high speed data because we are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Early this morning, a house exploded on Lick Fork Road due to unknown reasons. The explosion completely destroyed the house and left all three residents critically injured. However, all three individuals were alive when they were evacuated from the scene. Mountaintop News spoke to Emergency Management Director Nee Jackson for more information. Approximately 928 this morning, there was a page out of an explosion. Um, it was paged out at 594 Lick Fork Road. Uh, that was actually the house just above this, but I think the house number is actually 588 on the mailbox here. Um, that was, it, it listed at least one person. Uh, later found out that there were uh, three individuals. They're all related, two females and a male. One male, one female was airlifted. The other female was taken to Pikeville Medical Center by ground. And um, I don't know if they'll, I don't know if they'll list, uh, airlift her at a later time or not, or if they'll continue to treat her there. Um, emergency management on scene, Dorton Fire Department, Shelby Creek Rescue Squad, Shelby Valley Fire Department, AEP, uh, a couple of gas companies, Pike County Sheriff's Department, Kentucky State Police, Kentucky Fire Marshal's office is on their way. It's it's really tough. It's tough for, for these people to re, uh, rebound after situations like this. You know, right across from this home, uh, there was a drain tile washed out uh, to, to get to the other home. Uh, looks like fortunately there wasn't any water in this home, but you know, this general community has just been uh, inundated with, um, from the flooding to now this explosion. And um, you know, these, these folks were, I think they were all in their 80s, so, you know, that makes it even tougher when, when they're older folks as well. Jackson says the residents are fortunate to be alive despite the tragedy. While waiting for first responders, the residents were dragged from the burning wreckage by their neighbors, most of whom were family members. Thank God for folks like that that react quickly. They just, they go in and help people in this situation. When you look at the, what's left of the home and know that they were alive when they left here, uh, that's a miracle in itself um, because I I wouldn't have given you a nickel for if I if somebody just sent me a picture and said this is what it looks like for somebody to survive this is uh, that's very miraculous reporting for mountaintop news I'm Nick Collum